On this video, I get the haircut of Ace. On this video, my brother David will do the haircut and style. Roll that tape. To start the haircut, he will section the hair around the perimeter. Two fingers in width in the front and the sides, and four in the nape area. This is one of the three basic sections that I always do. Separate the front from the back using the comb as a reference. The other two are a horseshoe shaped section and from ear to ear to separate the front to the back. Using the freeform technique, David will cut the perimeter, starting on the nape area, cutting a straight line. A lot of you complain on the commentaries that you cannot find anyone in your city who can cut the hair like you want it. I totally understand that. That's what I did train my own brother. Thank you, David, for always making sure that I look my best. Always check the haircut for balance. A slight cut on the sides from short to long, starting up at the height of the cheek. Use a diagonal back, low elevation, and natural fall. Repeat the same technique and angle on the opposite side. At the end of the video, I will share which suggestion was the winner this week. Follow me on Instagram, there I post every week the results of the next video one week before. If you are interested in doing this look, as always at the end of this video, I will share what face types will do well with this style. To create the activation on the layers, determine the white line and cut incremented from short to long. Observe how David cut the hairs with a very low elevation and cut the layers exactly where they are going to be laying. If you like more videos like this in YouTube, help this video by subscribing to the channel, giving it a like and click the bell so you can get notifications in the future. Thank you to all of you for your support. We are on our way to the 50,000 subscribers by the end of this year. Don't miss the next video, the very popular wolf cut from Arthur Lewin. Continue around the head using the same technique and angle. Use as a reference the first guide that you create. The techniques that I shared and demonstrated on the channel, they are very easy to replicate. Very fast and to the point. And they create a visually impactful and memorable experience. To add fluidity on this style on the layers, test straight the ends on the direction upwards. Depending on the density of the hair, you will need more or less. In my case, not too much because I already have thin hair. Share with your friends the shorts on Instagram and TikTok. It's the best way to help this channel grow. I would really appreciate that. This test duration will activate the wispy look that I want to create when I use the fly iron. Continue using the same technique around the head when you see fit. As you can tell, the hair on this side is a little bit longer to preserve more density on this side. Now I will fix my own hair so you can all see how I do it. To blow dry the hair, I will use Glide from 1821. Glide will help me out to soften the hair, but it will not weigh it down even though my hair is fine. Using the blow dryers on the fingers, I will dry the hair giving a volume on the roots and direction on the ends. This is how I do my hair every single day. I like to show you this because a lot of you were asking me how I do my own hair. It took one year to get it this long after I cut it super short on a barber's competition a year ago. Some of you are asking me if I do have an online course. Normally I teach my deconstruction method on live events for professionals. But at this point, for me, it's impossible to visit all of you guys on your own country. So if you are interested on an online course to learn my method, let me know on the commentaries. With that information and practice, anyone can do what I do. The process that I teach has two steps the artistic drawing and the graphic design. For the technical process, the use of the octagon. Keeping it simple, I only use three different sections, and I share all the techniques that I use on these four haircuts, from short to long. The freeform technique, the condensed cutting, the French technique, and the barber techniques. That is the foundation you need to recreate all the different looks that you see me doing on this channel. If you are interested, let me know and I'll look into it. 
After drying my hair, I will use the fly iron to reproduce the ace look. We don't need to get the hair 100% straight. As you can see on the pictures, he's got a little bit of wave. When you are done with the flat iron, use a little bit of wax to give it a style, direction, and texture. Here you can see I've been careful applying the product on the surface. Basically what I'm doing is facilitating that the hair grabs a little of the product from my hands, which is the opposite of my hands applying the product into the hair. Without product, the look don't even get closer. So take your time to learn how to use them. The hairspray will help you out to maintain the volume if your hair is fine. Place the hair where you see it fit best, and then apply some hairspray. It looked a bit heavy, so that we detach up some pieces on the front area in dry. In this case, using the razor on free form. As you can see, David used the same techniques and processes that you see me doing all the time on the channel. So you can learn it too and do it. The only thing you need is a good foundation and go for it. On my part, I will keep loading all these videos or looks that you guys love so you can see me using these techniques over and over. I hope this video serves as inspiration. We need a lot more young, passionate professionals all around the world. This style will look great on oval faces, but it's one of those styles that will look good on any face types. I always finish my own hair with 1821 hairspray. It makes sure that the style looks good all day long. I love it because it's not sticky and I can run my fingers through. This week the winning suggestion is Vasco from Lucasum. Hope you all love it soon on the channel. This is Angel Del Solar, the hairbender.